Let's create that over the top restaurant experience at home. Pan seared filet mignon with red wine sauce. Okay, let's set you up with a steak night your loved one will never forget. We're gonna start with filet mignon. We'll pan sear it, build a great crust on it, take them out, finish them in the oven, and in that same pan, we're gonna build a wonderful, luxurious red wine sauce. Cinch your aprons, my friends. We're about to get chefy. Okay, we're gonna start with some high quality steaks. In this case, center cut tenderloin steaks, known as filet mignon. Inch and a half thick, which puts them at about six to eight ounces each. We'll season both sides generously with kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. Make sure you get all sides. Other great steaks you can use are sirloin fillets, also known as baseball cut fillets, strip steak fillets, also known as Manhattan fillets, or rib fillets, which are simply the true eye of the ribeye without the cap muscle. All right, let's get a stainless steel pan to medium high. Add a couple teaspoons of canola oil, swirl it around, and set those steaks into the hot pan. You'll want to hear that sizzle. That's what we're looking for. Nice contact with the pan. And if you've got some of that errant salt and pepper, you can put that on the top of each. Now we'll give them time to develop a good sear on the one side before flipping. So that's only gonna be a couple minutes. Developing a good crust on both sides is important because it's developing flavor. So here's a great tip, sear the edges also. Just hold the steak with tongs and roll over the hot pan. Now we'll turn the heat off on the skillet. Steaks come out and onto a sheet pan, fitted with a cooling rack, and into a 325 degree oven. Now let's get our sauce working. First, we'll get a clove of garlic minced. It doesn't have to be perfect, just nicely minced up. About a teaspoon is really all we're looking for. One small shallot that will also mince nice and fine to be part of this flavor building. Okay, let's revisit this pan and get some flavor working. With the pan back on medium heat, we'll add a tablespoon of butter, Swirl that around and get it nice and melty before we put the garlic and shallots in. Garlic and shallots are just gonna need a minute or so just to get them softened and you start to get a little transparent on those shallots. Move that around a little in the pan and now we deglaze or pour in our red wine, one cup. Let that boil and evaporate the alcohol off of it. Then we're gonna add three quarter cup of beef stock a bay leaf, and some tarragon. Now we're really starting to smell these wonderful flavors come together. Now with the heat on medium low, we're gonna reduce the liquid, concentrating the flavors from the brown bits that were left from us searing the steak, the wine, the broth, and the herbs. Oh, it's smelling so good. After about seven to 10 minutes of simmering, the sauce should be a little thicker and ready for the last ingredient, the butter. We're gonna whisk in cube butter a couple tablespoons at a time until melted and emulsified. Just using your whisk, work it around in the pan. It's gonna create a nice, silky, smooth, luxurious sauce. Our filet mignons are gonna love being paired with this. Now I'm going to strain the sauce. This is optional, but I think it's a good idea. Strain the sauce to make it completely smooth. Regardless, make sure you discard that bay leaf. But if you pass it through a screen, we'll have a nice silky sauce that we're gonna combine with the steak. Let's check on those steaks. I like a filet on the rare side, so I'll pull the steak at 120 degrees, so it ends up at 125 to 130. So let's serve them up. Red wine sauce spooned down and steaks on top. Man, that looks so good. I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle because we gotta see it's done this. Let's do the reveal. Oh yeah, that's a nice rare to medium rare and for filet, that's what I'm looking for. Let's get a bite with all that sauce. So luxurious, so tender, and the red wine pan sauce just pairs perfectly with this steak. When you pull this off, you're gonna have a night to remember. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time in the test kitchen.